to prevent fist fights, I want to be clear. There is no one perfect way to color match. My goal today is to show you how I might do a color match. If this works for you, great. If not, use them as a springboard to develop your own techniques. Hi, I'm Ray Belsky from Rayplex. Today I'd like to explain some of the techniques used in color matching gel coats. If you're a marina, fiberglass shop, or a mobile fiberglass repair technician, or just doing fiberglass boat repairs, you will find the Rayplex gel coat formula book and color chart helpful in achieving high quality color matches. Knowing what the color pigment formula is in a particular color of gel coat will help in getting the best, best possible color matches. Customer perception of your skills will determine the value of your work. What the customer perceives as value will determine what they will pay you. The more knowledgeable your understanding of gel coat repairs, the more comfortable the customer is about giving you the job. Gain professional knowledge so you will be paid a professional price. I would recommend reading over the online section about color matching, which is located on the Rayplex website. So, first, let's start with the color chart. This is available in two versions, a fan deck or a three-page fold-out chart. Hold the color chart or the fan deck next to the fiberglass surface and view the closest matching color until you are happy you have found a good color match the closest match on the chart has a color number. The Rayplex pigment system contains 17 pigments which will allow the mixing of almost any color of gel coat that has been formulated. What tends to make color matching difficult is the background shading that occurs with the fillers that have been added to gel coat for better color hiding. So let me explain in more detail. Fillers are mined from different parts of the world. So the same filler from Europe may be gray, but the, from South America it's beige. You will notice that different manufacturers' neutral gel is of a different color. Another issue, before 1977, osmosis did not occur because all gel coats were unfilled, meaning no filler was added. After 1977, they started adding fillers to improve the hiding power, while some of the fillers were hydroscopic, absorbed water, which in turn developed into osmosis. After you've found the closest color, look up the corresponding formula in the color book. There are two options here. One, you can order that matching gel from Rayplex. Or two, the formula book works like this. Start with a thousand grams of neutral gel coat. Neutral is best for colors like red, green, blue, and yellow. If you add any of those colors into white gel coat, you will end up with a pastel shade. Now we're going to mix up a formula for color number 328 from the chart. On the ch chart you can see the formula is outlined. That is that it's now zeroed. First we're going to add 100 grams of number 305 neutral gel coat. Start with 2 grams of number 100 white color pigment, followed by 4 grams of number 300 orange color pigment. Now add 2 grams of iron oxide number 204 pigment, followed by 9 grams of yellow number 200 pigment. Now you can see a beautiful orange match that's as close to that shade as possible. If you have a small chip and a white gel coat surface, then the Rayplex White Gel Coat Repair Kit may just be the solution for you. Just place the match card next to the surface and add the best pigment to achieve an almost perfect color match for your boat. All of the preceding products are available on our website, rayplex.ca. And once again, my name is Ray Belsky, and thank you for watching our video.